how's it everybody? I am currently making my way up into the Hillgrove area of Newlands West. I've had a complaint out here of a very large brown snake. The complainant that called me said that his gardener had spotted the snake and yeah he's described it as being very large and brown. So there's only two snakes that it's likely to be in this area. Uh, either a Mozambique spitting cobra or a black mamba. So, okay, we're in the right road. I'm just gonna find the correct house and I'll see you guys there. All right, how's it? Where's it down? There's got to be a mamba, guys. Judging by the look on his face, it's moved. He walked that way. I hope he's right there. Because he was on the sun. He was lying on the sun. Lying on the sun, yeah. And I nearly stepped on him. Is it? Because I jumped the wall, I didn't realize he was right here. Okay. I tried, I made a big noise. Look at that, sir. Sounds like the snake so might have been disturbed. So I jumped down here. Yeah. It was going that way. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a worm slung, guys. Whoops. It's a worm slung, and it's going into a hole here. That's something we don't see often. Oh, my word, slipping on this embankment. Sure. Okay, I wasn't expecting one of you. I mean, I know that we get worms lung in this area, but they're not common at all. Okay, it's wanting to go in here. <laughs> she looks pregnant, which is a bit odd for this time of the year. She's a very fat snake. Just wondering if there's not perhaps eggs in the snake. It's only going into the mating season now so I don't know it seems a bit early but it is possible. Okay so these guys are highly highly venomous. They are a back fanged species. They've got a very very potent hemotoxic venom which means it attacks the blood but as you can see they are pretty calm, even tempered snakes, very shy and actually very reluctant to bite unless of course you doing something like what I'm doing. Um, but even then as you can see she is very 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 shy. I just want you to have a close look at that head. They have got unusually large eyes which enables them to have very good vision. Come on, look at the camera. Don't want you close to my hands, thank you. I know you're super shy, and you definitely don't look like you want to bite, but I uh, definitely don't want to risk that. Here we go. Right, so this is known as the African tree snake or Boomslang is the Afrikaans name, which directly translates to tree snake. Isn't that amazing how if I wobble the body up here, the head is able to stay almost perfectly stationary. Look at that. I'm trying to keep the camera focused on the head. A bit difficult. Okay, there we go. Watch now, I'll move the snake from side to side. And the head pretty much stays there. All 
right, let me just get it safely behind the head so I can walk back up this embankment to my bag and get her in a bag. But I want to first grab the head safely and then show you guys a better close-up look at the look of the face. All right. Okay, girl, reverse. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Come on, go back a bit. <laughs> She's having to pull her back into the grab stick. Okay, there we go. Now I've got you safely. All right. Let's not start twisting and doing funny things here. All right. So there you can have a better look, a nice close-up of the face. There's a little tongue sticking out there, flickering. Hey, you're a beauty. You're a big girl. Now this is not a small worm slung, she's pretty much fully grown. She might get a little bit bigger, but she is a fully matured female. I'm battling to keep this head in focus here. But look how gorgeous she is, guys. Look at that abnormally large eye, which distinguishes them from other snakes. They've got the biggest eyes of any African snake. And they've also got these keeled body scales, which means every little individual scale on the body has got these little ridges on. I don't know if you can see the ridges. Get this camera to focus, there we go. Let's see it's got like a little, almost like a crease across every scale. And that makes the scales a little bit rough to the touch if you rub them this way. Feels a bit rough. And that's what we call keeled scales. All right, let's get her up back up to the house where I can bag her. I'm sure the people want to have a nice look at her as well. Fortunately I got here when I did because the snake was making its way back down and if it had gone into there we obviously would never ever ever have found her. <laughs> and you can see why this area is home to a lot of snakes. Like I said cobras and mambas are plentiful here. And this is why. This is part of the Umgeni Valley, or a section that runs off of the Umgeni Valley. Awesome place. Alright, so it is now time for me to release these two Wormslung females that I caught back to back the other day. The one from the Newlands West area. And the other one in the ladies' room in Reservoir Hills. Chosen a really, really nice place to release these snakes. Where they are extremely far from human habitation. What I'm going to do is just try and suspend these bags in these trees. And try and encourage the snakes to come out the other end. These snakes are obviously extremely shy, as you would have seen in the capture video. And they are not likely to bite me through the bag. So, oh, it's sticking its head here, it's trying to get out here. There's no exit here. Go the other way. Alright, let me just try and squeeze the bag. No, I don't want you to fall out the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. You want to go this way? That's fine. Goodbye. Off you go. You have fun. Stopped to have a quick look around. And I'm pretty sure both of these snakes are pregnant. Both in their fairly early stages of pregnancy. 
can see they're very distended but when I try to feel for eggs you can't actually feel any individual eggs so I don't want you to go so fast you want it to like at least have a chance to say thank you and goodbye anyhow Goodbye, girl. And off she goes. <laughs> In a few moments' time, you'll probably, if I had to stay here, you'd probably hear birds starting to absolutely freak out. Okay, well there it is. Both snakes successfully released back into the bush. And they'll be very, very happy here. There's a lot of bird life. A lot of indigenous plants and trees here. Exactly the habitat that Wormslung would like to be in. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. Just for now. See you on the next one.